Definitely. It's almost like, go back and watch that movie, uh, Clockwork Orange. Yeah. Global Gang Stalking Syndicate, Global Satanic Cult, Universal Everywhere, See Smiley Face Murders, uh, Murder Cults, Why You Must Live a Blameless Life, and Give Them No Hooks, and Be Very Aware of Who Is Around, or When New People Come Into Your Life Suddenly, and Friendly, It Seems, or A New Job. Uh, be Very Wary. Now, these murder cults, they're, they're doing human sacrifice for Satan, right? Yes. Yes, and they're far more extensive and infiltrated into into every station of life than you could have ever imagined. And they're being activated now. Uh, they've been ongoing in pockets, mm -hmm. but uh, they've uh, they've got it set up to where probably on every street, every neighborhood. Not to get paranoid, too paranoid, because the Lord will protect you. Um, but it's something to be cautious of. Just uh, you know, we're supposed to be wise as the serpents, but gentle well, this as is doves. A, this is the black awakening that Russ Dizdar talks about. Yes, I would agree with that. that that's uh, this what's is happening. So now, and when when is this? this in the this next happening now. Now, that's what I was thinking. It's and it's going. It's on. going to get to such a state, though. Uh, what I'm what I'm uh, warning against. It's going to get to such a state that uh, every time you think of making a move, every time you think of doing something to maybe get out of uh, harm's way, uh, these syndicates are going to be in place to their their intention is to not let you escape, to not let you. And if you start raising your head too much above the crowd, start causing waves, uh, there's, there's people in place all, everywhere who are going to uh, take advantage of that and, and uh, for them, use you as a, as a sacrifice uh, and, or, or uh, long-term gang-stalking type uh, persecution. And a lot of this comes through the churches. The churches have been uh, set up as an organizational method and through the uh, government bureaucracies. Uh, but it's pervasive. It's everywhere. That's probably one of the most ominous things, I think, because it, you don't want to walk around paranoid looking over your shoulder. Uh, but I'm warning you that you do. I mean, you don't need to be paranoid, but uh, uh, you live a cheer, you be of good cheer. Live a blameless life. This is why you don't want to give them any excuses to persecute you, because then when they do persecute you, uh, you will have the full joy of the Lord in you, because you know you've not uh, warranted it. You've you've taken care of those flaws, uh, those sins in your life. You've been working on them. You, you're not giving them an easy in. You're not having an affair. You don't have a drug problem. Uh, you don't have some sort of dependency, some sort of crutch, because anything like that will be used against you, and they will wait. They'll lie and wait to be able to use those things. So, on a very personal level, you have got to. Uh, uh, wow, our power just went off. Uh, you've got to. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, everything just shut down. That's interesting. Uh, you've got to, uh, you've got <laughs> to amazing. be there. And this is where living the blameless life, so that in your heart and your conscience, you just keep getting better. You just keep coming, becoming more pure, more chaste, and not just in action, but in thought, because mm -hmm. it's in your thoughts that they can hook you too. Because believe me, they have the ability to get in your head. Uh, uh, to get in your brain. Oh, I and know so those, if, they, if they go in there and they find yeah. uh, purity and goodness, mm -hmm. uh, pisses them off. They can't find a hook on anything, and they don't like it. They don't like to be in the light, and they don't want to be exposed to that. And uh, you make it very uncomfortable I'm, for both of them. I'm if very you have, familiar with these gangs. Uh, that I've been around in my whole life, so I know what they, you talk about. If you've got sin in your life, it gives them a, a yeah, dark alley they, to enter. Uh, well, what they do is they try to get you to sin so that they can come in. Exactly. And they will seduce you. They'll find your weaknesses, everything. That's why before they get to you, you, know, you figure out your weaknesses. Before it happens, you go into your own mind. You, you know what the problems I've you seen have. It. No, I've been through it. With, I've been through this very thing of being boilerplated. Yep. Um, uh, my house invaded, all that. And, I, and, and uh, look, I understand exactly who they are. Nothing new here. They've been around for a long time. In fact, in the... In the good book, um, Proverbs 1, uh, Solomon describes them perfectly. Let me okay. go ahead and give that scripture. Um, we are going to run over a little bit here, but let me uh, get my e-sword out. And gosh, I just want to tell you, if you, if, you know, e-sword, uh, please support them. Um, they give you a free online Bible. It's just an unbelievable tool. But let me just go ahead and get to uh, this Proverbs 1 and find that scripture. Because uh, it's, it's haunting. It's exactly what you're talking about. And, and like I say, it's nothing new. Um, okay. Um, okay, so, so it, it says this. And let me go ahead and fix my screen here because it's a little hard to read. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> Can I make the font bigger here? Hello? Yeah, what's, what's I'm happening here. with Brother Thomas? Okay. Um, 
okay, here's what it says. If they say, it begins with Proverbs 1, 11, 1, 1, 1. How convenient is that? Huh? 1, wow. 11. Yeah. Okay, yep. it says, if they say, come with us and let us lay wait for blood, let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause, yes. let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole, as though um, that go down into the pit. We shall find all precious substance, and we shall fill our houses with spoil. In other words, steal from you. Yep. Cast in thy lot amongst us. In other words, they're talking to a person. They're saying, come on with us. Cast in thy lot amongst us, and let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path, he's saying. For their feet run to evil, and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird, and they lay wait for their own blood, and they lurk privily for their own lives. In other words, they're the ones going to death. So are the ways for everyone that is greedy for gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. Um, but it, come, let us have a collective... Uh, and someone said that was communism, and I said, that's not communism. They are a collective, this gang you talk about. Yeah. They, they, they wait... Uh, he says, my son, don't walk, don't go with them. Cast in thy lot amongst us and let us have one purse, they say. These are these people. That, yeah, you must be very aware of uh, new opportunities that suddenly arise because they're going to... Oh, well, I know that one. Defend, you know. Yeah, see the film Mulholland Drive, that's like yeah. uh, uh, where, where the girl, an innocent girl arrives in Hollywood and it's all new and, mm -hmm. it's a, and it all turns out to be a setup. Got to be words, wise. Got to be wise and uh, and blameless uh, is the best weapon. And and uh, uh, gra and gratitude, uh, giving the Lord, uh, because this can make you angry, can make you bitter, and that's what they want. They want to take you down to their frequency, down to their level, and have you start responding like they do with violence, with uh, with lashing out resentment. And you don't want to be dragged down to that level because then they've got you electronically, they've got you mentally, spiritually. You have to continue to be Christ-like. You have to rise above that, and then they can't get their hooks in you. And uh, uh, you can live with a good conscience, and you can actually uh, live with good cheer, and uh, and and forge through it. I'm um, just saying, be be aware that there's highly organized. Uh, it's obvious. It's now very well put into place, and they've been testing it for for decades. Uh, but now the the level of organization is uh, is really quite ominous, and uh, so just. Heads up, uh, be, but, be aware of new friends, uh, yeah. uh, new good friends with great opportunities, and suddenly you're going to find yourself in, you know, in the collective purse of these people. Okay, now, uh, you say live, uh, oh. yeah. keep it simple. I'm just going to cut to the chase here. This is living a good, blameless life, and under that you have keep it simple. You're dealing with the devil. You're dealing with Satan, not your spouse, brother, sister, child, friend, ex-lover, Current affair, boss, government, current affair. Yeah, straighten those up, people. Uh, government official, who them know. The devil's behind it seeking to stop your spiritual progress always and to, and to keep it impersonal. It is the devil, you and God, three actors. Don't get caught up in external details, personalities of other creatures and creation. Keep it simple. Yep, that's the secret. Uh, I, told, I told Trish, you know, my... It, to prove to me, you know, just coming to me and saying you're a Christian, I'm just like you, let's be friends, it doesn't work that way with me. You've got to prove it at this point. Yeah, you must be very, very wise. You must be wise as the serpents themselves, which is, can be uncomfortable because you have to learn about them. You have to, you have to uh, somewhat know, uh, you have to have knowledge. You don't want to perish because you don't know what's going on and you're foolish and you're naive. You're not supposed to be stupid. You're supposed to be childlike. Uh, children are wise. Uh, they can they can ascertain the truth of someone quickly. Well, well why they're, are the worlders stupid? Uh, yeah, because they're they're gone. They're, Coddled. They're, they're empty vessels. They're empty vessels okay, for the devil. Not, there's nobody there. There's nobody home, as far as I'm concerned. It's a bunch of robots, and so they're they're as smart as a machine can be, which is uh, program in, program out. Uh, they're programmed, and uh, they can bluster. They can look. You know, yeah. One thing to keep in mind. Here's an important thing before we wrap up to keep in mind uh these people want you to believe they have all power that they've got every base covered and it looks like they do they've got a lot going on but you should know that uh, uh most of these people are drug addicts they're perverts they're incestuous 
They're pedophiles. Oh, yeah. And they're constantly have One reason they haven't been successful yet is because their own lives are a disaster. They're constantly having to uh, backtrack and, and, and create more lies and create more subterfuge and more murder, uh, more mayhem to, to stay alive. So a lot of their energy is spent just trying to not be killed and taken out themselves by the other uh, predators that they're, they're in league with. Uh, they're not so powerful. They're, that one reason they constantly fail is because evil is stupid. Evil is yeah. dumb, it's robotic, and it does not have the light of wisdom, the light of God, the Holy Spirit guiding it. And so uh, that's why they fail. That's why all of their big plans, they would have loved this to come off without a hitch. If they could have perfectly put this all together and nobody knew the difference, they would have been thrilled with that. They don't like all this trouble that's going on. Uh, they're going to make the most of it. But uh, uh, just know that these are very uh, messed up uh, individuals, and uh, they don't have power. Uh, the devil has power uh, to work through them for a time. Uh, but these are not people to fear. I told uh, people, don't go that way, or you're just going to wind up being an, em- you know, an empty yeah, shell. You're wasted. He'll just use you if you're effective, if you're talented. Yeah, he'll use you for longer. Yeah, you'll get some success for a time. But what an empty, pointless, base, disgusting life to, to throw Amen, in with the devil. Bro, you're you know? telling, brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's just this. Praise sick. God. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nothing we want to be a part of. Uh, we want we want to go where glory is, where light and life and love and compassion and uh, eternity are. Uh, that's worth the fight. That's worth this race. That's worth. That's what all this theaters are about. This is to let us know as created individuals uh, what what God is. I mean, we're created so that He can interact with a with a spark of Himself that has individual free will that chose Him freely. That's a miracle that He was able to uh, create that. Uh, that's what that Good is word, so glorious that this yeah. this time of trouble is nothing. Uh, brush it off, dust it off your shoulder. Uh, these people, uh, you know, have the seeds of their own destruction sown within them, and uh, they're going to fall apart. And uh, we just got to weather the storm, stay of good cheer, and, sp- and and spread good cheer, and be of good cheer, be a, be a help to other people. When you meet people and they leave your presence. They should feel uplifted. They should feel like they've gained something. They should feel like uh, they're a little bit uh, lighter in, uh, with their burden. Yes. 